Hey everyone, it's Julie here, also known as Mrs England's Emporium. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, I am a part-time reseller and I basically sell anything I can get my hands on. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you what sold in mine and my husband's eBay shops this week. And I'm going to tell you when we bought it, how long it's taken to sell, um, how much for and what profit we've made. So let's get into it. Let me know what you think at the end. Okay, so here comes the fun bit when I've got to remember how much I paid for things. Well, these were free. Um, they were given to us by Rob's granddad. So thank you, Granddad Pete. Um, they, yeah, they were sold for £25 plus £4.99 per stage. Um, we've had them about a year. So they've stuck around for a bit. They didn't have any laces though. And I think that was probably the main issue with these. These I picked up just over a week ago. They're on one of my sales video, on one of my thrifting videos, sorry, where I've been to charity shops. I paid five ninety nine for these, and yeah, like I say, they've sold within a week. Forty two pounds plus four ninety nine shipping. They're a really nice pair of mint velvet velvet stiletto shoes. They were hardly worn. Really lovely. This suit I've had for about two years. I paid around £5 for it when I was in my loving Gina Bacconi stage because I was getting a lot of her stuff and it's really unique, really nice, really glamorous stuff. And um, yeah, I was selling a piece every now and again for quite high money. As you can see, this hasn't gone for a great deal. £14 plus £4.99 shipping. It is a suit, it's black and it's glittery. These were... We've had these for a couple of years, I think Rob said. I'm pretty sure he said we paid £12 for them because we got them from a Bernardo's ages ago. And the Bernardo's that we have near us is very expensive. Both of them are, actually. Um, so, yeah, they've gone for £96 plus £4.99 postage. So, it's been worth holding out for those, definitely. Again, as I say all the time with these, when I, when I do like a job lot or we do a bundle of clothing, it's basically stuff that we've written off. So we go by probably a pound an item and there's 27 items here. It was all brand new with tag stuff. Um, so we say we've paid £27 altogether and we got two, 200 I wish, £103 plus £9.99 postage on those. This is a large Timberland jacket, um, like a well, a jacket slash jumper. It's from 2004. It's a heavy, like, zip cotton blue. Um, I'm pretty sure Rob said he paid, I think it was about £8 for this. And it wasn't a, a massive long time ago, about a year. We got £20 plus £4.99 anyway. This was a bit of a fail for me, but again, it's not a fail overall because we're still in the profits with everything we've bought. But I paid £25 for this at a car boot about three months ago now. And basically, I've added more stuff to it as well. I got a memory card that I picked up at a garage sale for a pound and a game as well that Rob picked up for about three quid. Anyway, it sold on auction for £22 plus £4.99 postage, so I'm glad to get rid of it. This is a, I don't even know how to pronounce it, so I'm not going to. It's basically a down, like nice and thick, brand new with tags designer coat. He paid, I'm pretty sure he said he paid 15 or £17 for this. Um, we've had it about a year and it's gone for £40 plus £4.99. This suit jacket was a pound. We've had it well over a year again and this went for £17 plus £4.99 postage so suit jackets are selling quite well again but only for smaller amounts we used to get a lot more for suits than this but when you've only laid out a pound it doesn't matter so much so this is the second time this is sold the first time we got a non-payer 
which is what happens sometimes on eBay, unfortunately. And this time they paid. So we bought this for about 25 pence, 30 pence, and it's gone for 14 99 plus um, 4 99 postage. The only thing that was wrong with it was that the battery compartment was missing, but that was all put in the listing. This diesel jacket, I believe, was £5. We've had it quite a while. I would say probably over a year again. Um, like I say, coats and jackets aren't doing as well as they used to. There was a time when Rob would get £50 to £70 for a diesel jacket. This one has gone for £20, which is a massive markdown. But yeah, four ninety nine 99 postage on top, so glad it's going to a new home. These I bought separately. I got the crossbow at a charity shop not that long ago for two ninety nine, and I bought the other bow, which doesn't have any like bows and arrows and stuff with it, um, at a garage sale for I think it was three pound, so five ninety nine altogether, and I sold the pair for twelve ninety nine plus six ninety nine postage because they're quite heavy. I bought the actual um burn arrow to go with the crossbow so I could do a bundle and get it sold quicker and it worked. This is a Jack's vert top it's brand new with tags. I've had this for about two years. I paid around four to five pound for it, and it's sold recently for eighteen pound on an offer. Um, plus four ninety nine shipping. I got a really nice message off the lady about, please, we accept this offer. I really love this top. And I was like, yeah, go on then. You can have it. <laughs> this is a bundle of seven ladies designer skirts. Some are new with tags, some are used. So what I do with these now, when I've had things kicking about for a while and they're not on for much money and they are having a lot of interest or views I tend to do a little bundle and do them on an auction so that's what I did here and I got 9 99 plus 6 99 shipping for these um just seven skirts one of them was whistles though so a pretty good make these I bought at a recent charity shop um video that I did um so basically I paid I think it was 3 49 per doll um, I didn't really know much about these, but I thought they look nice, they look quality, so I bought them. They took probably just over a week to sell. Um, I had them on a little bit more, brought the price down, they sold outright £21.99 plus £4.99 shipping. These are what I got with a big bundle of Barbies when I did um, a Facebook Marketplace deal. There's a video on that coming up on my channel very soon, if it isn't already. I don't think I've put it on yet, so I think it's coming up next week. Anyway, I paid £50 for a load of stuff. And this is the Disney doll collection that I did from within that bundle. So I got £39.99 plus £7.99 per so that's near enough paid for the whole lot. This coat has sold before and it came back. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen I put a funny meme on about when something sells that's already sold before and been returned. This was it. So it's a Jack Wolf skin jacket. It came back because it didn't fit last time. Now, that was partly my fault because I did put it was a size large. Don't know where I got that from because it actually said ladies size 16 in it. So I listed it properly this time. It's sold for £30 on an offer plus £4.99 shipping. So happy with that. We bought this from a garage sale, this Doctor Who kit, oh, probably about coming up to three months ago now, but I only literally listed it the other day. Um, I did a lot of research on it, got all the listing as perfect as I could. Anyway, it was sold outright within 12 hours of me listing it. £44.99 plus £4.99 shipping. It's boxed and I think we paid about £3 for that. This is part of a different Barbie haul that I bought for £49 altogether off Facebook Marketplace. And this sold again within a couple of days. So I got £12.99 plus £4.99. It's basically a baby doll doctor set with babies and accessories. Yeah, these tend to fly out really quick. I've sold two now and they sell fast. This is part of a bundle I bought from a car boo about three months ago. I basically bought this vintage Amstrad um, camcorder and I got a bag with it, loads of cassettes with it, a cassette adapter with it that I sold on the last video. Um, so yeah, I took an offer on this for £10. It's going to Italy. So they paid £6.99 postage on that as well, plus GSP. This is a pair of Maya trousers. We've had these for well over a year. They cost a pound 
and they literally sold for 25 plus 4.99 postage i think it was a couple of days ago um mayors are usually really good sellers but for some reason these have stuck around i think it might just be because they're just black trousers i'm not really sure these yugo boss trousers were a pound we've had them again for well over a year maybe even two years like i've said before many a time our clothing prices have had to come right down we used to get really good prices for things now not so much but these still went for a respectable 28 pound plus 3.99 per stage so it's another thing out the door this leather jacket i bought well over two years ago it cost me one pound and i've had it on for all different prices <laughs> i've just adjusted my prices all the time anyway this went for 14.99 plus 4.99 postage um i think that was an offer that i sent out because so i think it was on for 19.99 and i sent out an offer to try and get rid of it and it worked i bought this at a recent garage sale again about two to three months ago now um, I paid a pound. Um, I just liked it. I thought it was cool. I thought it's a vintage tape player for a car. Um, I thought I'd take a gamble on it. Again, I started it off at £25. I went all the way down to £14.99. I sent out an offer for £12.99 and they accepted, plus £7.99 shipping. This jumper, Rob only literally bought just over a week ago it sold really fast he bought it for seven pound he's got 20 pound for it plus 4.99 shipping so that's a nice quick sale hope you enjoyed that let me know what you think in the comments have you sold anything similar to what we've sold this week what sort of profits have you made um how are you finding selling on ebay at the moment i know some people have said it's gone dead some people have said that it's really picked up because of q4 let me know what you think if you'd like to support my channel you can buy me a coffee the descript the um, link will be in my description please like subscribe hit the bell for more and i'll see you all next time bye